let's play a little bit and sort of uh, kind of see all the things that we've talked about being all together. All right, take it away, Andy, and I'll talk you through. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. There's 64 different uh, places you can spawn in. There's sort of your habitats, or not your habits, your little sort of cabin. So when you join the large world slash SC Alpha, um, there's various different rooms. You, there's your own particular rooms. So here we got four of our folks here. And we're on Port Olisar. So I think we're going to head to the atrium. Okay, and so when you, when you spawn on the space station, you can go to these different terminals and call up one of your ships to be on one of the landing pads. So um, we're gonna pull up a constellation. So we're all, cause you know. And so it tells us what landing pad, uh, landing pad, how many landing pads do we have on Port Alisar? 10, I think there's 10 landing pads. So you spawn, you have your ship spawn, and they'll stay on that landing pad for a period of time. If you don't claim it after a while, they'll be put back in the hangar, basically. So, um, so we'll get, let's get our merry band of brothers together and head to the constellation. And the whole the space station is built out with access to all the four land, all the ten landing pads. And stuff so it's a it's built out in a much larger scale than we did on the Gamescom demo. Did we go to the wrong door to get to the landing pad? One, one, of our, one of our players is taking a Hornet, so we're taking a Hornet, and the other three are going to be on the, uh, so I guess this is on landing pad two, and then the other guys are on four, which you can see over here, and if we look over here, we can see the guys walking out on the landing pad over there. Constellation. The constellation is almost done. It'll be done when we uh, ship this. It's missing a few little bits, but if you take a look, it's quite beautiful. So, as we said before, the constellation's had a complete overhaul. It's built up to the quality that the Retaliator is now. Whole extra level of detail. How about a view from inside too would be kind of cool, huh? Okay. 
Okay. Now we're going we're to head to this uh, communication satellite to turn it back on, which has been sort of sabotaged by pirates. There's likely there'll be pirates spanning. Yeah. Yep, so we're in hyperjump. So we move, we move around here a little bit, so, so it's kind of pretty cool to... Deactivated. So here we are, coming up to the communication satellite. Scanning. Bogey. Oh, looks like there's some uh, pirates around here, so we probably should go fight them. So. Surprise! I know, it's a surprise. <laughs> it's a trap! Yeah, so this is part of the. Um, the SC Alpha 2.0. So there's various areas. So like these are AI pirates that would spawn around the communication satellite that disabled. Oh, see the Hornet just go past. Uh, there we go. Should we get in the one? Of, someone get in the uh, turret. Scanning. Okay. Stop here, and we'll show one other feature, which is allow you can go in and out of EVA in any vehicle, including single-seat fighters. So. So we'll head in here to. Uh, You can see him EVA right there. So let's EVA into the uh, communication satellite. Okay, so we've uh, put the comm satellite back online and we'll have some new nav coordinates now. So we'll just get out.
As you can see, the, uh, there's some damage was taken on the um, Constellation that we're going to go, and uh, when we get in our ship, we'll go in ahead and repair it. So let's go into the Hornet. So this is one of the many uh, refuel, repair, and rearm stations that will be uh, in the uh, SE Alpha 2.0. Landing here. Deployed. Landing complete. And here come the here come the drones. repair Our mechanic for engaged. players Landing and also for support. the NPCs when we, uh, uh, as, as the system universe progresses, but short term this is the, uh, the first iteration, uh, which longer term when you've got a, uh, you can earn UEC and persistence, which will be one of our ne uh, next milestones beyond this. Um, you could earn money doing missions and then it would cost you money to repair, rearm, refuel. Okay. Raised autopilot disengaged. So now um, we're going to go to uh, security port Korea and uh, check that out. Was this is sort of the uh, kind of dedicated uh, FPS area that we have? And longer, longer term, as we carry on building this out, we're going to have areas that you will uh, have not just AI ships, but AI, uh, you know, individuals on that you will also have fights with in combat and meet them and talk to them and do all the rest of the stuff. So as I said, the, what we're doing here is absolutely the foundation of everything that um, Star Citizen is going to be.
Quantum Drive activated. This is the area that will be in the first release that will have sort of uh, weapon drops and stuff. So if you come here, you'll be able to get weapons and stuff that you wouldn't normally have, and then use those to shoot other people if you want. <laughs> or defend yourself, either one of the two things. <laughs> it's a big ship, you've got to be careful with it. band that was in the Hornet and uh, if we come around here we'll see the rest of the folks at some point coming out. There we go. And down we go. There they come. I believe there's a, there's a data center in the start center of here that you can reactivate, which I think is where we're going. And it's sort of like a command and control point. So if you come and you control this area, um, you'll get missions and stuff. And so the idea is when we have this running, people will hopefully come here and try and control and fight over the area. So, well, there we go. Here we have some people do it right now. <laughs> So we have four, four outlaws that have been playing by the four guys over on this side. Um, and uh, there's also some weapon drops around here, so hopefully uh, we can find a few of them.
and there's some recharge stations for energy weapons there and there's some ammo drops and various weapon drops around here These are the outlaws. Outlaw, outlaw. Hey, did you guys kill all the Marines? I guess they're gonna. I guess they're gonna steal the uh, constellation now. <laughs> So we, we don't actually rehearse this. Sometimes the Marines lit win, sometimes the outlaw guys win. I think this was pretty much a whitewash. I guess it's all your bases belong to us or all your constellation belongs to us. Feels good. It's a used dance. Here we go. These are the various destinations you can see. So there's going to be a huge amount of, just even in the first drop, there's going to be a massive amount of places to visit in the large world and play. So, uh, so we're pretty excited by that. We've been sort of playing this uh, the last week or so um, here in the UK, and it's actually kind of fun, people going shooting each other in the face uh, and, and flying around and doing stuff. Uh, so, uh, you know, one of the, I think the big things from this is to let you guys know that we sort of decided that, you know, FPS is really integral to um, the whole experience.